Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, guys? I want to wish you guys a Happy New Year. It's uh, New Year's Eve. I hope 2017 is going to be prosperous for you crazy people out there. So I'm not uh, exactly crazy about my little camera mount or actually my phone mount. I have a rubber band tied around my phone and around the rear view mirror and you know the thing about this is it's always going out of focus I, always, I have to tap the center of the image to keep it I guess focused at infinity I guess it's working now uh, well today's a new day today is the last day of 2016 much to reflect on I hope uh, Whoa, what is this? Look at that. My image is bobbing up and down. I wonder why. Jeez. I guess it's the image stabilization trying to work out the vibrations. Huh. That's interesting. Huh. So, yeah, so I guess the car is little minute vibrations were affecting the the uh, I guess image stabilization yeah you know I um I think I have to go back to my Kodak I mean shoot that's what I know and that's what I got and I have a workflow for that my, and my workflow was pretty much just record and upload uh, through the memory stick and, and walk away <clears throat> one thing I don't like about this setup is when you use YouTube capture the app and you upload the image it has to be or the video you have to you have to pretty much just keep the phone on and you got to set the auto turn off to be like never you know, usually I have it set to like maybe four or five minutes so that in case it's in my pocket, it doesn't stay on the whole time and drain the battery. So the thing about this uh, YouTube capture is it terminates the upload if the phone should go to sleep. And that is not good actually. It's actually very bad for the battery. Not because it's it's being drained but the screen is left on the entire time and it, it you, you, you know you got to keep it plugged in and that's actually not good for the battery you, you want to you want to charge the battery uh, when the phone's not being used like it's being used at a minimum or not even being used at all you just charge the phone like that way you, the thing about lithium batteries is it doesn't like to be charged and discharged at the same time so whenever you're using a lithium battery or like you know one of those portable charging units um, and I've experienced it especially with the earlier batteries what happens is if you're discharging a lithium battery especially one of those power packs and you're charging it at the same time that's a really fast way to destroy the battery so anyways that's that's what I know it's not good for lithium any type of lithium lithium polymer lithium ion whatever okay so what I'm doing is I have my it's not a daily commute but I, I do I do commute to work and uh, now I work at the stadium the Aloha stadium as before you guys knew me as um, some guy that worked downtown well my commute is very different now uh, in the morning it's not so bad like this it's, it's kind of free but in the afternoon um, it's horrible it, it sucks it's just crazy traffic but I think I've been really blessed with work I'm able to earn a living, make a living, and I, I have to say not everybody is so fortunate, 
lot of folks are unemployed. What happened to me was I was unemployed for two years and it, it really drained me. What I was about to do was to head out to the mainland, somewhere, somewhere in California or wherever, um, probably somewhere in the west coast to work, to live and work. And my thing was once I left Hawaii, I would never come back. I would never ever come back to Hawaii. Mostly because, I think maybe because I had anger toward this place. You know, a brother can work his ass off and no matter what, he, if he can't find a job, it don't matter, you know? Doesn't matter how smart or talented or how, how much education you have, how many people you know, if there's no work here, that's it, you're toast. So, I, I was ready to leave here and I, and, um, I felt this place really shortchanged me. I, I can't say shortchange, I just, I should say, um, what's the word? Um, I just wanted to leave behind a lot of painful, painful memories. And that was it. But anyways, God kept me here for a reason, so I'm here. I think that reason would be perhaps my mother. I don't think, um, I don't think she'd be able to support herself as she because she, her body's just not making it. She's not strong enough, or not, I shouldn't say not strong enough. Her, her body's just not that strong, and um, she spent her whole life raising us kids. And the thing was, my mom spent the most recent part of her life working her tail off to support my sister, to raise my sister. And after 21 years, my sister just picks up and leaves. So, um, even with all the best intentions, she's, you know, she says she wants to take care of my mother. Um, she's off taking care of somebody else's mother. So, I mean, you know, that's just life. And she's not in Hawaii. She's moved off to the mainland. And, um, I wish her the best. But anyways, um, I, I decide, well, you know, I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to be a breadwinner. And, oh, I am a breadwinner now. But I'm gonna have to figure out how to generate income and be able to support her. She doesn't require very much. But as people get older, medical bills kick in and insurance gets very expensive. So we'll see. Anyway, that's my little saga for today. I hope to get on a regular cycle or a habit of making videos more often. <clears throat> okay, guys. Happy New Year.